Ciao a tutti! Today we are here in uh, Pichi, Central, Hong Kong. We are here with uh, Chef Davide Borin. Oh, ciao guys, how are you? Chef Davide is a great talented chef and uh, we are here today to steal a recipe that you can replicate at home in a very easy way. So that's our goal, to steal recipe to talented chefs. Guys, today we have a very easy recipe. I'm gonna teach you how to make gnocchi, potato gnocchi. How do we do the gnocchi? Because I have to cook and you have to teach me, so <laughs> let's start. It's good to have a trainee today with me. <laughs> The first tip to have an amazing texture for your gnocchi, bake the potato. This is a secret that nobody will tell you. Now we are going to bake these potatoes. So you told me one hour, 180 degrees. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so what do we do, Davide? Okay, so peel the potato. They're still steaming, so be careful to don't burn. Because inside might be a bit hotter than outside, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm gonna try myself. Let's see if I'm gonna burn or if so I'm gonna survive. <laughs> the old school teach you to boil the potato usually. Yeah. Uh, it's still all right. It's not a big deal. The, all, the whole point is to lose as much steam from Water. inside the potato yeah. you can. So whatever you bake, whatever you boil, try to do this job when the potato is still hot. Cut yeah, it. they are hot, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Peel it, cut it, smash it when they're still hot. So they keep losing steam. So now you said we are gonna cut them in broken pieces. So we have two options. This is of course the easiest way. Otherwise, uh, we can see that we can do it simply with a fork. Uh, so gnocchi is a simple recipe. Easy. You don't need tools. And a bit of passion. Good. 500 grams of potatoes. You spread a little bit the potato. So far, quite easy. We have mashed potato and uh, egg yolk. A sprinkle of salt. So now... Need to add the flour. 120 grams, you said. 120 grams of white flour. It's you time to, make dirty, to get dirty now. Use your hands, get everything together. Careful, he's doing, you're doing a mess already. <laughs> Try to get everything together. So I have to keep <laughs> things uh, together. Work okay. clean. Work, Work clean. clean. Okay, I'm already dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else will clean after you. So, seems done. No, I'll just get everything together. So, we have a big sausage. This is our dough. <laughs> <laughs> big dough sausage. Very good. So, hand wash, chef. Now. So now I show now you, you how to, to teach me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> now is the funny part. I show you how to make once, and okay. then you do it again. Okay. Now it's smooth. The dough is smooth. You just get a small piece, little by little, and you roll it with your hands. Interesting. With the help of some flour, you just keep start cutting the gnocchi. How come you choose this recipe, Davide? I thought it was very cool to see something that looks difficult to do it. You don't find very often in a restaurant, but how simple it is to make it at home. Where I come from Italy is uh, Treviso. Yeah. It's uh, northeast of Italy, close to Venice. Uh, it's the things that we do a lot. Classic dish. Yeah, you know, from the countryside, we using potato is very calm. Are you from the countryside <laughs> or are you from the city? <laughs> Tell me the truth. <laughs> Which village are you in, uh, in Treviso, close to Treviso? I'm quite interested. It's where we farm a lot of potato. <laughs> <laughs> Try to make all the same shape. Ah, you're making it bigger. Die. Make so I leave your mine in front and you can just copy the same. Make it's, all the same, you're losing quite, it. Uh, you're losing the quite, focus. By default, I have to be all the same size, so it will cook all evenly. Though, I have to be honest, it's my first time doing gnocchi, so I'm no. very happy that I'm teaching, <laughs> the, I'm teaching the gnocchi recipe today. Uh, re <laughs> this we're not gonna use. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We are gonna try also with the knife, because at home, I don't think you have this most of times. You don't need big tools for this. Your hands, a bit of patience. But cooking is nice. One portion is around 180 grams, 200 grams. 
I think we are quite close to that. We are quite close to that. Huh? For your home, eventually you can do it all and then you keep it in the fridge, right? I suggest you to freeze it. Ah, to freeze it? Yeah, okay. you can freeze it. And then it. you can use it even one month later without yeah. any problem. And uh, yeah, fantastic. She made it well. Thank you. <laughs> ecco, we have our gnocchi ready for two people. Portion, yeah. Allora, now we're going to do the sauce. Yeah. Okay, let's start to cleaning the red prawns, okay. okay? There are a few tricks that I'm going to show you. So first things, you have to remove the head. Yeah. We got this amazing Sicilian prawn. Well, well you go to your uh, local corner, market and, and try find. to get, uh, or your local gourmet shop, uh, try to get uh, uh, what is possible for you to find uh, the best quality of prawns you can, like the sweetest possible. Okay. So how do we do? We remove the head and then... And then you we remove peel it. Seems a dirty job, but it's okay. <laughs> it's worth it. Okay, let me try. Next. Like this, we keep the head here, and then we have to remove... Uh... Make sure there's no ah, Okay, shell. but it's not that difficult. It seems okay. Okay. And then we put the prone here. So, now what do we do? Okay, the last things, when you have prone, you have to remove the, the intestine. Okay, mm. this is not the funny part to it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me try this. So we just with a simple toothpick. Easiest, easy, easy. I told you it was gonna be and easy. And then uh, you the... pinch the back of the prawn. Ah, look! It is an amazing way to keep the prawn wow. whole. Oh, fantastic! And don't break the. I didn't know. The texture wow. of the prawn. Fantastic. Achievable. Very easy, actually. Davide, why are we doing this? Well, the flavor in this prawn is uh, in the tail and as well on the head. Uh, so, that we keep the head aside, we don't squeeze it too much, because this is going to be the base for our sauce. This is uh, going to be the secret of the flavor. secret. Okay, so... Next job, we need to clean the broccolini. Mm. Here we go, so get a paring knife, a small knife, you can have it in the kitchen. Get... Just oh, the flour. Yeah, okay. just the tip like that. Don't cut your finger. Okay, I try. Garlic as well. Just get a sharp knife and try to make some slice like that. Yes. Can you see? If I'm gonna be able to. The thinner the better. The thinner the better. Ah, but I... you have some skills. Yeah, remember to <laughs> keep the finger. That's a good thing for home. To keep the finger anyway behind the knife always and try to avoid to cut yourself. So like okay. this, I'm a little bit thicker than Davide, but it's okay la. Okay, now we go to... Time to cook. Do the sauce. <laughs> How Half much butter? This. Half of this. I love butter. You love butter, so we put more. Okay. Two is okay. And then we put the head. Yeah, put the head inside. Okay. All the flavor is inside the head. So with the help of a fork, <clears throat> you start to smash the... I wish you guys can feel the smell at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's true. Okay, we Garlic add everything to the pan. Okay. Keep it a low fire always. Low fire. We don't Otherwise want to we burn, burn the, the butter. And we destroy all the flavor of the sauce. Okay. Uh, we are gonna add uh, some uh, white wine if you have it. Otherwise even just a bit of water could yeah, be okay, yeah? Water is okay. Right. Mm. Remember so, to keep it a low fire. Yeah. Low fire and we let it go. Sauce is ready. Sauce is ready. Fantastic. Keep it juicy like that. So in the meantime, uh, we have the water boiling. We already switched on the water for the gnocchi. And uh, how much salt do we put uh, uh, usually? We base in a 10 gram of salt every liter of water. Okay, good. Bye, Manuele, done. drop the gnocchi in the water. Thank you, chef. Stay close oh. to the water. Okay. When the gnocchi start to float, leave it to boil uh, 30 seconds and then you remove it with the strainer. Okay. Gnocchi are ready. You can see the one I made looks cool. No. <laughs> the one you made. <laughs> they are, uh... A bit more crap. Bah, okay. Well, you can practice. <laughs> you can practice. I will improve, I promise. So now what do we do? The gnocchi are ready and uh, we are going to move them into the sauce. Try to strain it from the water. Now we are going to plate it. Uh, so here we have all the, the tail that 
you okay. clean amazingly. Ah, fantastic. This one we're gonna use as a garnish. Okay. And it's gonna be the, the best touch of this dish. Okay. Uh, drizzle with a bit of olive oil. And then... Uh, and then have fun. My new tool. I'm gonna be generous uh, uh, for you, Davide, because I know that uh, we're gonna <laughs> try it together. So I'm gonna keep also some for Davide. Otherwise it's not fair. I put four for me. So I have the best bite. Uh, so this is for Davide. This is for me. Buon appetito. Mm. Mm. Not bad, huh? Very good. <laughs> Ciao a tutti. See you soon again for the next video. We thank uh, very much uh, our friend uh, Davide Borin. That was very uh, cool. Thanks to Pichi as well for giving us the opportunity to do this video. And uh, uh, see you soon for the next Talented Chef.